this was a situation where uh, a girl that I knew since my middle school days in, in school, uh, she and I went to an area on our campus in high school that was a known makeout spot. Uh, we went there, we kissed and we made out. We never had sex, but by the end of the day I was being accused of sexual assault. There really was no evidence. Um, in my situation, this girl had claimed that I sexually assaulted her, that there would be DNA found if they did DNA testing. There was no DNA. There was no physical evidence whatsoever uh, in this case, um, as she said that there would be. Um, there were no witnesses because we were in a secluded area that was a known makehouse spot. I was on my way to court and walking into, uh, walking into court to select a jury to go to trial. I was facing 41 years to life at this time. Before I could get to trial, um, my lawyer pulled me into an interview room the day of jury selection at the courtroom building. And she sat me down with this huge grin on her face as I sat on the other side of the glass. And she began to tell me that she just uh, came up with this amazing deal with the district attorney's office. Uh, mind you, the first deal that they had offered me was 25 years in prison. The second deal was 18 years. I believe the third deal was nine. And that deal was that if I pled no contest to one count of sexual assault, that I would undergo what's called a 90-day observation at Chino State Prison. My lawyer on this day looked me square in my eyes and told me, Brian, I guarantee you, you're going to get that probation. You're going to go in there, you're going to talk to the counselor and psychologist, they're going to side with you. You will get that favorable report. But if you walk in there right now and you start selecting a jury, I can guarantee you that you're going to select a jury that's going to end up being an all-white jury and they're going to find you guilty because you're a big black teenager. Those weren't my words. Those were my attorney's words that were spoken to me at the age of 17. And so here I am faced with this dilemma. Do I go into this courtroom and instead of selecting a jury, uh, I take a, a deal for something I didn't even do? Or do I walk into this courtroom and roll the, roll the dice and risk my entire life in prison for a crime I never even committed? Here I was by myself, 17 years old, and I'm sitting in this small, tiny room by myself, given 10 minutes to make this decision. Brian, this is the best option for you. You need to take this deal. And so I listened to her. I was required to wear a GPS tracking device on my ankle, uh, which in the state of California means a host of things. I couldn't live within 2,000 feet of any school or park. I mean, this, these were the different things that I had to uh, endure once I got out. So it was, I was naive into thinking that once I was home um, from prison, things would be better. My mom actually paid for this lawyer by selling her house and selling her car, uh, literally giving up everything to, to pay for this lawyer. And from day one, our lawyer just wanted me to plea out to some form of a deal. Knowing that I had ineffective counsel, knowing that my attorney wasn't there for me the way that I thought she would be, knowing that the investigator that we hired never went to the crime scene and never investigated the crime, never inter interviewed the people that should have been interviewed. Knowing those things, now I, could, I can say and feel more comfortable in thinking that I made the right decision by taking the deal. But if you would have asked me this question while I was still in bars, while I was still incarcerated and serving a six year sentence for a crime I didn't commit, I probably would have told you, I wish I never took this deal. I wish I would have took it all away. It's easier to convict someone in the United States than it is to get them out for something that they didn't do. It's easy to put somebody behind bars, give them life, give them death row, lock them away. It's no problem. But when it comes to 
getting a person out of prison who has blatant proof of their innocence, who we all know didn't commit that crime, then, you know, how do we go on from there? Mm -hmm.